Welcome back and thank you for joining us for another episode of our little adventures around, well, south of Darwin right now. We are in Mataranka this week and we're exploring some beautiful hot springs, which is really just a nice way to spend a couple of days. We are also exploring the incredible history of the We of the Never Never, the Elsie Homestead and the Elsie region. This is an iconic piece of Australian history and incredibly overwhelming and I don't believe I've done it any justice, but the story is just something you need to know about. Last week we were in Kakadu visiting Gunlom and the extraordinary Nitmalak National Park where we played in some incredible waterfalls. So if you haven't seen that episode yet, make sure you go watch it after this episode and let's get on with it. I hope you enjoy these little Mataranka adventures. Also guys, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe if you like what we do. It's the easiest way you guys can show us your support and it makes a world of difference for us. <clears throat> Holy cow, I'm losing my voice now. These videos are getting worse and worse. <coughs> Old blue tablets aren't necessarily working for you, are Good they? Good morning! <laughs> um, it is, what day is it? It's a, lovely, it's a Sunday. It's Sunday, it's about 7.30, we've just packed up, we're still at Edith the Falls. Um, we're grabbing some water and we're about to head out to Mataranka. We had a good sleep last night, no mozzies, and the temperature was beautiful. And we've got about an hour and a bit drive to Mataranka, and um, we're there for two nights, so... That's the plan, Stan. I'll come back to you all when I'm a bit more awake. <laughs> and um, we're going to stop in. I know. Kieran got me out of bed this morning and he was all over it. I was so proud of him. Uh, so, we're going to hop in the car and do some driving. We're going to stop in Catherine and do a little bit of internet work because we still have like grown up stuff to do, like paychecks and things like that. And um, yeah, we'll see you in Catherine probably. So we bailed out of the beautiful Edith Falls campgrounds nice and early and hit the road to Mataranka. Mataranka is just under two hours from Catherine and it was a nice easy drive with a little stopover in Catherine to catch up on some boring grown up things and a little bit of internet work because life doesn't stop when you're travelling, which kind of sucks. I would love to come to a petrol station that these bloody air tyres or air compressors work from. Yeah. Oh. I don't know dog's name, like they're really big dogs, eh? I heard that. He's like, oh, pebbles. <laughs> so funny. It's almost 12 o'clock. It's about 11.30 now. And we've come to Mataranka Homestead Caravan Park. 30 bucks a night gets us a powered site, which we need because our inverter is about to crap itself. And we need to plug our fridge in because all of our food is going bad, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, Mataranka looks sick. This caravan park is cool. We've just pulled up basically wherever we like. And we're going to set up our camp and then head down to the springs. So we'll be able to show you Mataranka Springs today. And then I think tomorrow we'll show you Bitter Springs and I want to take Kieran out to the cemetery that relates to the history of the We of the Never Never. I can't remember the history right now so don't ask me, but I will tell you all about it soon. <laughs> Got this whole site and all we need is this corner of it. <laughs> I know, it's nice, it's good. So I couldn't manage to convince Kieran away from watching the cricket all afternoon, so we resorted to spending the day resting. After all, I had been battling a head cold for four days and spent the afternoon laying in the sun and trying to read my book. Jeez, they're coming out of the woodwork now. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, they got like that griffin head. Oh, he's bloody staring at me. The next day. Looks like Jurassic Park. It does, doesn't it? It's really cool. So when you stay at the Mataranka Homestead Caravan Park, you have super easy access to the springs. It was literally a two minute walk from our campsite, which is super nice, and you can swim, relax, and bathe at all hours of the day. Early mornings and evenings are lovely because it is so much quieter. Yeah, so the whole We of the Never Never thing is in relation to the Elsie Station and their family and the history of the area. I've got to remember the story because I can't remember it right now, but I will, I will teach it to you guys. Anyway, we're going to walk out to the bit where it says Crocs and no swimming. No, I'm kidding. We'll go out here. 
<laughs> We're assuming this is where it all starts, isn't it? Yeah, so it looks like this spot here is a spring because you can kind of see it bubbling up. The water's moving and we think the water's bubbling up from here. So this is the start of the spring. It doesn't appear like there's anything heading up that way. What do we read about it? It's like an underwater table. It's an underwater river that feeds this. So this is called a rainbow spring. It's not all that warm, but we reckon that's where the whole thing starts. So these thermal pools are 34 degrees all day every day with stunning crystal clear waters and huge towering palms that make you feel like you're just in some lush jungle in the middle of Southeast Asia, not in North Central Australia. The spring is fed from Rainbow Spring, which was poorly explained before, and an incredible 30 million litres of water flow through here each day. At some parts of the year, this place can be totally overrun by a mass colony of flying foxes. Unfortunately, when we were here, they weren't, but it's a pretty amazing spectacle when they are here. Also, we've got to apologise for this footage, guys. It's super grainy because it was really early in the morning and the lighting is very poor in here, but this has to be the best time today to come visit. Look how quiet it is. It was absolutely beautiful. Nothing like an early morning dip. It is Monday. It is day four of our five-day road trip. Yep. <laughs> oh, there's a mosquito on the car. And, um, it's pizza for breakfast because we're just eating out whatever's in the fridge. And it is about 8.30 and we are heading out to um, Bitter Springs this morning to see what all the fuss is about. We spent the day at Mataranka yesterday and we are staying at the Mataranka Caravan Park. And we're also going to go check out the Elsie Cemetery which is where the author, I believe, and her family from the book We of the Never Never are buried. And I'll put a whole history into this video because the history of the Elsie region is very interesting. And very very old other than that it is 12 degrees oh it's now 13 degrees and it is freaking freezing I'm Kira and I, yeah Kira and I are dying we like woke up in the middle of the night last night and Kieran like closed the back door of the car we pulled out all the blankets we could find we put all of our clothes on and none of us bought pants so all I had was one long sleeve jumper and we're just shivering our feet and our fingers are frozen hey yeah no it's been <laughs> stupidly cold at least the springs around here are hot. Well, they're warm. They're like kind of like body temperature warm. So our first stop for this morning was Bitter Springs, which is another thermal hot spring located in the north of Mataranka Township. I've never heard of this spring before, but in recent years, this swimming spot has become much more well known and is almost as popular as the original Mataranka hot spring. It is also quite different to the Mataranka hot spring, so it is definitely worth visiting both. That's it. I'm going back for bags. It's ridiculous. Can you get the keys? Yeah, you're gonna need these. And zoop. Ow, it hit my finger. <laughs> Sick of being the adult. No good. Turn your new roll. Glad you're not too worried about snakes. So pretty. Yeah. So you're saying this water is a bit warmer than the uh Yeah, it feels warmer than our matter anchor. Yeah. But I don't really know, maybe because it's a little bit colder this morning and it was really hot yesterday. It was. But same again, this is the same river that runs through. Did you say I it was think a great so. Grope? But it's technically a sp <laughs> <laughs> Roper. <laughs> it's called the Roper River, the Roger River, the Groper River and the Red River. All in the space of about an hour. It's the Rod <laughs> the, it's the Roper River. <laughs> Groper. Um, but they're springs, so they're not actually a river. They're just popping up out of the ground. Yeah. Nice. Blank. Oh, it smells so bad.
a natural current and the entry and exit points to the springs have been designed so you just have to pop yourself in at one ladder and let the current take you all the way down to the next. It is super relaxing and we honestly could have spent the whole day doing laps around this beautiful place. Just like Mataranka, these springs are about 34 degrees. It sits around body temperature so it's pretty easy to spend the whole day in these waters without getting too cold or too hot. For more information about Mataranka and Bitter Springs, including how to get there, places to stay and other amazing things to do in the area, check out the Northern Territory website and the Visit Catherine websites. Links to these websites are in the description below and if you have any questions about this amazing area, definitely hit us up in the comments. The healer might, healer might, healer might come and take The healer might come and take away the pain He might come and take it all away From Bitter Springs we headed a short way south of the Mataranka Township to the Elsie Cemetery. This place is famed as being the resting places for a number of the characters from the book We of the Never Never. The turn off to the cemetery is about 12 kilometres to the south of Mataranka, just left off the Stuart Highway and is actually located quite close to the original Elsie station described in the book. The story is incredibly well known and significant to the area and it tells the tale of the experience of Jeannie Gunn, who's the author, her experiences living on Elsie Station back in 1902. She was known as the first white woman to settle in the rugged Australian outback area with her husband Aeneas on the Elsie Cattle Station on the Roper River, 482 kilometres from Darwin. The couple sailed to Darwin from Melbourne in 1902 and Jeannie was strongly discouraged from following her husband from Darwin to the Outback Northern Territory as she would be horribly out of place and it really wasn't any place for a woman to be. The couple actually only lived out here for about a year before Jeannie's husband died from malarial dysentery in 1903. Back in the 1950s, this story was taught in Australian schools and the book is actually a great read. It gives you a fantastic sense of how intense the Australian outback can be and what life was like over a century ago. Jeannie Gunn has since become a feminine icon and an absolute legend for women of the day. She was graceful, beautiful, intelligent and she was able to befriend the men and the wonderful Aboriginal people that were living on the land as well. It is a really, really beautiful story. It's a very old movie, but please give it a chance. It is such an iconic Australian historic story and a true tale of feminism. So all the girls out there and your boyfriends and husbands, definitely give this one a watch. It is such an important thing. I would absolutely love to show you some fantastic snippets from the movie about all the iconic quotes and parts of the film that have gone down in history. However, Google and YouTube will not allow that. So the movie is available for rent for $1.99 on YouTube and it is well worth the watch. So grab yourself a glass of wine and snuggle up on the couch tonight and watch this movie. It is fantastic. And as I said, an iconic part of Australian history.